Faces carved and candles charged Our wicked power looms quite large And when it finally strikes midnight The witches arise for their annual And goblins enjoy being seen They seek your treats, your tasty sweets The ones you've collected while roaming the streets They'll sniff you out, search high and low They have a sweet tooth, don't you know? And if they cannot find your loot They just might eat you as a substitute Time to hide, better run, close your eyes, hold thy tongue. You just might have a fright by the time this night's done. If they hear you are near, though we trouble, my dears, you will come face to face with the worst of your fears. It's no use to flee, though it would give them glee, as you suffer the horrors of their stealing spree. If they hear you are near, though we trouble, my dears, you will come face to face with the worst. It's Halloween tonight, an evening full of fright. Goblins, ghoulies, we all yell boo! The night we've all awaited, the homes are decorated. Draw masks, candy sacks, we all get treats! The witches cast a spell, what's that awful smell? A monster, a zombie, we all yell boo! The moon is full and bright, the pumpkins are alight, disguises, surprises, we all get treats. The crow up on the steeple is screeching at the people, black cats, winged bats, we all yell boo. The doorbells are all ringing, the boys and girls are singing, candy, candy, we all get treats. <laughs> this is a tale of three children bold on one Halloween night, stormy and cold. Too much candy from their neighbors they did take. It is known that their greed set their fate. All the village's treats they did amass, except one last house whose gates no one would pass. <laughs> to this spooky old mansion the craving children went. <gasps> to the last of the town's candy, they were fast on its scent. Along a path of shattered slate they cautiously walked, greeted by cawing ravens <laughs> and a black cat that stalked. <laughs> clang, 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 the cauldron-shaped door knocker rang. Creak, 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 the giant oak doors slowly swang. Standing before them was the cutest child, almost their age. With a wink and a wave, he invited them into his magnificent Victorian cage. To his parlor they followed, where an enormous mound of sweet treats they did greet. Where did you get all this candy? The children dared to ask. I took it from the good townspeople. T'was quite a task. Here, why don't you have some? He offered, presenting a tattered old sack. Several pieces they took smelled and tasted. A moment later, they began to gag and hack. <laughs> the children cried. It tastes like shoe leather and slugs mixed into a stale dough. I'm not surprised, the boy said. 
As I stole it hmm, nearly a century ago or so. The children's mouths agape, they did fear. <gasps> what is this boy thing standing far, far too near? And for the first time he did smile, exposing teeth yellow, pointed, and vile. And with those bites, you now share my plight. To live in this mansion for eternal night. The thick doors groaned loudly and slowly began to shut. Uh -oh. The children raced for their freedom faster than any hunter's hungry mutt. <laughs> what of their fate? Did they escape? No one knows, but have no fear. At least the town's candy is safe and shall never again disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.